Hi guys, and welcome back to Motor Joshing, and uh, let's get into day three. Day three, lots to say, lots to say. So last night. Uh, the plan was to like, give a call to the guys at Pure Adrenaline, um, staying with them at the end of June with Wild Bad. Um, and uh, I'd seen uh, Shoney Maloney's uh, post, because he came up here, I think, he was either the start of the year or Christmas time, I think he was actually up here. Um, somewhere around there, might have even been late last year, to be honest. And, um, Obviously, I watched the, the Wild Bad uh, tour video from last year, so we have links to that in the card. And, uh, you know, they they said, obviously, and they've all said, um, you know, it's they've, 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 they're building, you know, they're, they're trying to create something that's uh, a proper place uh, for accommodation for bikers. So I thought, okay, I could... You know, I could go stay in a kind of faceless campsite, or I could give them a ring and see if they had somewhere for me, to, you know, just to pitch me tent. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't need much. But uh, once I got there, they, uh, they didn't just offer me a place to pitch my tent. They said, well, we got a caravan free. Go stay in the caravan. There's no point, there's no point staying out here in the tent. You can be warm in the caravan. And uh, it'll be the same price. Um, I was gobsmacked, you know, and that's 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 the way they are. They they literally are the friendliest people uh, I've met, and it just it just shows me the bike community is, uh, you know, how powerful it can be and how strong a family it is. That you know they can take someone uh, and uh, and offer that to them, you know, and. They only wanted a fiver for it, well, that didn't quite sit right with me, I'm sorry, but, um, so I, I at least doubled it, so I gave them a tanner, and then they uh, brought me a couple of beers for my trouble as well, which was, uh, you know, above and beyond the Call of Duty, so. Doing my bit for the horsies. Um, but above and beyond the Call of Duty, you know what I mean? So there, here I am, all cosy and warm with a heater on in the caravan, um, and uh, it was phenomenal. And they are indeed still building, there's bits and pieces going, um, and I'm not going to show you footage of the, the place. I did think about filming, but I thought, you know what, well, let's, let's let them... Uh, Let's let them, you know, continue on with it, and we'll we'll show you it at the end of June with the wild bad lot. Um, but what I can say is, that, you know, they are the friendliest people. And then later on in the evening, um, you know, they said, "Oh, we're going into into Lampeda, so and we're going to get a Chinese. Do you want something?" So they picked me up a chow mein as well, and um, yeah, it was cracking. You know what I mean? So. Instead of being in my uh, my tent, I was uh, all cosy and warm in the caravan. You know, full full decky, charging all my stuff and uh, eating a Chinese. It was uh, it was phenomenal. The hospitality is something else. Um, and I uh, got introduced to Zeus the dog and everyone else there. Um, there's a number number of them you know working on the place. Um, and uh, Mike and. And, uh, and things as well, the mechanics and all the rest of it. Um, the bike shop is phenomenal. It's such a treasure trove full of bits and pieces. Um, if you're out this way, uh, you should definitely pop in. They've got a bit of everything, to be honest. Um, and, uh, yeah, just a, a cracking place, to be honest. Yes, it's, it's you know, up, it's, it's an up-and-comer. You know what I mean? They don't have all the facilities quite yet. Um, but they've got all the pitches sorted and things for caravans and campers and um, they've got the areas for the tents and stuff all kind of done. Uh, they're currently in the process of building some shower blocks. Just checking, there's a lot of gravel on that road. Um, 
building the shower blocks, wet rooms, uh, and uh, you know, kind of catering kitchen facility stuff uh, for people to use. Um, and that'll all be built uh, apparently in the next couple of weeks. Um, and uh, it's, it's a phenomenal facility. Okay, it's, it's out the way a little bit, but that's that's kind of the benefit as well because you know you can do what you want and uh, you know they are really planning for people to come and in, uh, in bigger groups uh, much like the wild bad lot and uh, you know uh, no one's gonna bother you you could probably have a bit of a party a couple of drinks or whatever and you're gonna be good um, no one's no one's gonna be worried in the slightest so um, it is really a cracking facility it's still in progress so uh, you know it lacks some refinements at the moment uh, while I was there, but that doesn't, you know, the, the base of hospitality, they couldn't do enough for me. Um, uh, that, that, that shines through regardless of the facilities that are coming. So, um, honestly, uh, cracking, cracking experience. Um, they certainly... Uh, They certainly rolled out the welcome mat. And uh, made me feel incredibly welcome. And uh, that's, that's rare. Um, you know, in stark contrast to the caravan, well, the, the campsite I was at the, the day before, where uh, I didn't see anyone. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I put my money in an envelope to camp there and uh, give them my details, pitched up my tent and uh, you know, use the facilities or whatever, and then that's, that was it, left my own devices. Um, so, it just shows you. Um, uh, just a cracking place, and I would recommend it to anyone, uh, if you're in this region, to go take a look. Um, you know, if you happen to want to use it as a base for a couple of days and camp, or even book a caravan and then fill your boots, um, I could thoroughly recommend it. Um, and the hospitality is second to none. Even this morning, got up. Um, had a had a uh, you know a bacon roll and a bacon and egg roll and a coffee with them all having a chat, bit of a tour, look around the bike shop. It's uh, it's honestly been phenomenal, um, but it's a great facility. And the fact is that if you're going to come and use somewhere as a base, and you know in this direction, you've got everything at your fingertips. Really, you can go in there. You know, probably the, the kind of three main directions or whatever, where there's cracking roads be able to let you know because they're all bikers be able to let you know where the best roads are or where you should have a look at or whatever give you a bit of guidance and I know they are going to start doing tours shortly um, you know in the future at least and uh, they are trying to do dirt cross tours as well towards the winter months when that becomes more prevalent um, and it's just an awesome facility so I uh, can't say thank you enough, and I can't recommend it enough either. The place is, uh, is phenomenal. And uh, I'm looking forward to the Wild Bad weekend. Um, though I think I might come back up uh, for their sale in a couple of weeks anyway. So I'll maybe have a bit of an update from there. But yeah, just a phenomenal experience with just good, good, like-minded people. Um, and of course, it doesn't hurt that there's a motorbike garage <laughs> on site. So if you happen to have a problem with your bike then you, you know you're going to be good so that is a, a reassuring backup as well um, so yeah as far as bases of operation go uh, it's, it's second to none and uh, the people are second to none as well so could only could only but recommend it anyway so the plan for today is literally going to be head home now, today is categorically a day where heated grips are the ballots. Um, the temperature's dropped. I'm still wearing my summer gloves and my hands were again a little bit tingy, uh, just cold. And in general, actually, I am getting quite windswept and a bit cold, but I am in the mountains. So um, I imagine once we dip down a bit, I'll be warmer again anyway. But it's just not that good a day, to be honest. So the temperatures uh, just aren't doing too much. And uh, heat grips are the saviour because we, have, we don't have any problems. We can feel our hands, and we're good. So, first thing, take my advice. Unless you've got some sort of fancy gloves, but even then, 
fancy gloves will get you so far, but you have to have them charged and all that part of it. Whereas here, grips, attached to the bike, job done. Anytime you need them, you can go for it. So these trees are probably in the way at the moment. I'm not going to show you too much of the, the break on be gone. I've gone through it a couple of times with my dad, but like I wasn't really vlogging, so I didn't really want to include it. But um, you will soon see. And here it is, the break on beacon. The best bit about the Bragg Beacons is it's not very far away from me at all. So I can come here and have a play whenever I feel like it. Obviously it's half term so there's a lot of people about. So, But yeah. As you can see. Uh, you know, terrible, ugly place to be. Even on a dull grey day like today. burger van, known by bikers over uh, a regular haunt for some. Martin up there is Penavan and that's where everyone and literally their mother has a photograph of them climbing the top of it and there's normally on the weekend there's like a stampede of humans going up it um, all trying to walk up the highest peak in South Wales so everyone's generally having a crack at it Mountains opens to reservoirs very shortly. Yeah, this is the kind of main pub. You can see where people are parked because they're probably climbing Penavan. Traffic always goes mentally as well because again, people are trying to park so they can go climb Penavan or stop them for a burger. paragliding um, and parachute jumping off the top of that as well so there are often people here and uh, as you can see it's just a beautiful place to come to so often people just come here for a walk in winter they come here for sledging as well and obviously the mountains full of sheep because it is Wales after all Down here you've got the reservoir. And quite frankly, it's a beautiful place.
I want to get back before the caravan has basically come out today. Um, there's dark clouds in the sky, so I'm not really looking to be hanging about in the rain. So I'm literally going to head home um, and uh, and uh, enjoy the editing I need to do for the rest of the week. So not a lot else to report for day three, so I'm probably going to leave it here to be honest and just enjoy the ride home. Um, and uh, hopefully be able to show you some parts of Wales and the kind of roads we have here and uh, what you can kind of expect. Um, and. Uh, yeah, just uh, it's been it's been cracking to be honest. And uh, thank you, Wild Bad, for uh, putting me on to Pure Adrenaline in the first place. And uh, Shoney Maloney and you know the other guys that have popped in um, off the back of that as well. And I'm thoroughly looking forward to the Wild Bad weekend now. And uh, I'm just gonna enjoy the ride home, guys. So thanks very much and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's been uh, appreciated and. Uh, Catch you in the next one, guys. Stop away.